When I learned about the changes and improvements to the Meerkat trailer, I knew I needed to fly out to San Diego to show you their newest 2024 model. What was already my favorite standing height garageable trailer on the market just got better. And while I welcome the majority of the new updates, there's one change they made to this trailer that I'm still on the fence about. As usual, stick around to the end of this walkthrough where I'll share what I like about this trailer and areas I still think it can be improved. Hi there, I'm Sean with Logi Trailers in San Diego and I'm so excited to show you the latest version of the Meerkat. There's three things that make this the coolest lightweight camper on the market. First of all, you can tow this with pretty much any small vehicle out there. It fits in your garage and you can stand up inside. It's lightweight enough that you can actually push it by hand into the spot. You don't have to do any of that backing up once you get to the campground to get into the site. The way that we did that is it's an aluminum body. It's fiberglass on the very top and fiberglass on the box on the front. This Meerkat is 13 feet long tip to tail, five feet wide and six foot five from the ground to the top when the top is closed. So that means it's gonna slide really easily into a standard seven foot garage. Let's take a look at the front of the Meerkat here. We've changed from the single straight tongue to an A-frame tongue here that accommodates a larger front style box. With the A-frame tongue, that's a stronger frame. And also we've um, put on stronger stabilizing pads as well. So. Looking at the inside of the box here, we've got the spare tire, we've got the battery that's housed right there, so that's ready to go. And you do have some extra storage in the space in the front as well. On the side of the box here, you have a solar port, so you can plug in a portable solar panel. Um, and that's going to really be really good for maintaining your battery and be able to run your refrigerator off-grid and all kinds of stuff. So it really comes in very handy. We've also upgraded the stabilizer pads, so when you're inside the trailer, it's not bouncing around, it's rock solid. And that's what you want. And with the Meerkat, we've made it so it's not just two in the back, we have four. One on each of the four corners. That makes all the difference and just makes it so much better when you're camping. Walking around to the back here, you'll see we have these newer, larger windows. So that's gonna let even more light into the trailer. And then if we keep walking around the trailer, you'll see there's a connection to 110 over here on the outside. You can plug in right there to an extension cord so you can charge up um, your battery and that will make it so your 110 outlets are live. You also have with the 13 inch tires, you've got the chrome color rims and just really makes it, those accents really make it stand out and give it that classic look. Check out the new available screen door for the Meerkat. So it just opens right in, attaches right to it, no installations required, and it's made of a very fine mesh. So it works for the no seams and it's just fantastic, easy to use, custom made for the Meerkat. Just really is a nice addition. With this height, I'm five foot nine, and this is the standard pop top that gives you a six foot standing room from the floor to the top. And it feels really open, really airy, especially with those four cutouts. And we can make this even as tall as six foot four if you need a little extra height. Let's take a look at the front galley area. This opens up here, so you have cubbies right here, three cubbies, a drawer right here. And you're gonna see it's solid wood cabinetry. It's not that vinyl, it's not a, a covering. It's really, really high quality stuff. You would have a portable water container. Um, I recommend a two and a half gallon jug. You could do two of them if you want. But what you do is you insert this hose right here into that tank and then just flip on the water pump and it's gonna go directly into the sink and out the front. And then it comes with a little butane canister. So typically you take this and you cook outside because you're camping, that's where you wanna be is outside. But with this, it's nice to be able to cook outside sometimes because it gets buggy sometimes, it gets rainy. And so being able to continue your camping experience inside is really nice. And again, being portable is nice because then it's not built in and it keeps your trailer very simple and easy to maintain. This one right here has the extra storage space right here with a shelf in the middle. Because what some people do is they keep all their extra goods in here, dry goods storage, and then they bring a, like a little portable Yeti and they just set it there on the floor and then pull it outside once they get to the campground and do that. Now, what we can also do with this space is you can do an ice box where it has a shelf in the middle, you put the ice in and it melts straight out of the trailer through the bottom. We can also do a refrigerator, which you can run off grid because you can maintain um, the battery with a solar panel. Looking at the area over here, you have a wardrobe closet so you can hang up clothes. And this is actually a removable floor. So this opens up and it gives you all the way storage to the bottom of the trailer. So it's really pretty immense storage right there. Underneath this bench right here, we have the cassette toilet ready for you whenever you need it. So this toilet is uh, has a fresh water container up above. 
a black water container underneath. So what you would do is before your camping trip, you put in two and a half gallons of fresh water in through here. And then when you press on these bellows, it draws water from that fresh water container, cycles it down, and then what you can do is pull this valve around the front. It separates that so all that water is gonna go under the tank underneath. And then when you're ready, you just flips around, flip the switch in the back, and it's gonna separate the two tanks. This part here flips around, the cap comes off and you can empty it into a toilet. Another major upgrade that we've done to the newest Meerkat is we've added this strut system. So what that does is that takes all the effort out of raising the top. And you can see I just lifted a little bit and it did most of the work for me. And then you just push at the bottom right there and right there and you're good to go. So much more simple and just super easy. We have these light bars, these valence wall lights on each side, and that shines light up and just makes it a really elegant open feel and it just really changes up the feel of the inside of the trailer. In addition to the new valence wall lights, we have the recessed LED light in the back as well as in the front. And then we have individual lights which you can maneuver and turn on and off as you like. And it just makes it feel so open and airy inside. It's just a wonderful open light feel. And then up above here, we have the two-way fan. So that's gonna draw air in or out, and it really creates excellent airflow, especially with those new windows. This is my favorite upgrade that we've ever done to the Meerkat. I love natural light, and this is phenomenal because this is physically bigger than the previous windows. What this does, this opens up. These are the new Euro-style windows. So you secure it like this, and you have full air exchange. And what you're gonna do too, is you have this dual screen system. So you have the blind, which goes all the way up and then you have the screen to keep bugs out. And you can actually attach it so you can get half and half or three quarters and really customize how you want that airflow and privacy to be. Everyone wants lots of storage in the trailer and the Meerkat does that great. You have plenty of storage up above here in the back upper cabinets as well as in the front. So walking in the front of the trailer, this opens up and you've got additional storage back here. Let's take a look at the storage underneath the seats too. And in this storage area here, if you get the awning or anything like that, you have a lot of storage space that, where you can keep things. Of course, we inset the wheel into the trailer to give you a better profile for towing, but you have some good storage in the front as well as the full open storage spaces in the back underneath the seating. This side really mirrors the other side. You have the wheel well and then some storage space right there. And then underneath here, you have the fuse box, but you have additional storage under there as well. In the front here, we have a battery meter, so you can see what level your battery is at. And if you flip this open, you've got USB, so you can charge your cell phone from right there. What I usually do is I set my phone right here and plug it right in. And then underneath, you have a, another 12 volt style connection where you can plug in another dual USB, anything like that. And if you don't wanna look at a blue light at night, you can just simply turn it off. But as you can see, you still have 12 volt power, so that's very nice. Let's take a look at the bed setup. The first thing we're gonna do is lift the tabletop off and then we're gonna take the pole off. Usually what you do is you have the table top and the pole on the ground or you can have it underneath that storage area that we looked at there. Then I'm gonna pull the slat system out halfway and release the Velcro and pull it in. And then we're gonna do the same thing with these cushions here. And this is what the bed configuration looks like. Usually what people do is they put those three cushions in the back underneath the bottom there and that way you have the full length. It's gonna give you six foot four from the very back to the front here because you have this bench where the porta potty is. And the rest is five five from the very back to here. Now this one has the bed extender option. So what that does is that lifts up and then you can put this cushion right here. So what it does is it gives you a little extra length if somebody needs um, to have a little bit more length so their heels aren't hanging off. Now what you can do too is if you wanna just use this as a place to set a cup or a plate you can definitely do that. It's not weight bearing, so you wouldn't sit on it, but really handy thing to have. Now for those pros and cons. My first pro is the usability of this trailer. There's no other trailer on the market even close to being this light while still offering standing room height and a kitchen. Couple that with the ability to park it in your garage and you have a pretty priceless trailer. Plus with the addition of the new gas struts, the pop top is even easier to use than before. Next, I appreciate how they're moving into the refinement stage with the Meerkat trailer. Bigger, better, and more efficient windows. And accent lighting that makes this airy trailer feel even larger than it did before. 
The first time I showed you the Meerkat trailer on playing with sticks, many of you said they needed to add a refrigerator option. Well, looks like they listened. As you know, I love the simplicity of this trailer. Just enough standing height to use the kitchen and change your clothes, but not so much standing height that 20 years down the road, you'll have a major canvas repair on your hands. With this minimal amount of canvas and gas struts compared to other pop top and tilt top trailers, these repairs, if required, will be very simple and affordable. And I should mention the unique kitchen sink design as well. This eliminates permanent water tanks, no tank cleaning or winterizing required. And before getting to those cons, I have to mention the new A-frame chassis. It's not only beefier, it allowed them to add a larger tongue box up front so you can store more of those outdoor items. But this pro also leads me to my first con. Before the new chassis, the original Meerkat weighed only 920 pounds. Now it's 1,180 pounds. While seemingly minor, this change removes the Meerkat from its own unique category. Previously, it was the only option for a standing height trailer with an indoor kitchen towable by a vehicle with a 1,500 pound towing capacity. It was kind of a unicorn, but now with the added weight, it competes with trailers like Scamps and Casitas. The average small camper owner carries roughly 500 pounds of gear and water in their trailer. So even vehicles with a 2,000 pound towing capacity would exceed their limit by 80 pounds when towing the new Meerkat. But there's an easy solution to this. And it leads me into my next con. Did you know there's no electric brake option for this trailer? As most of you know, towing capacity is often more about braking distance safety than it is about wear and tear on your tow vehicle's transmission and engine. Meaning the weight of your trailer affects how quickly your vehicle can stop. With this trailer's streamlined, garageable design, there's less wind drag, reducing strain on your transmission and engine. So that's not really the issue. Adding electric brakes, or at least making them an option, would greatly improve safety and towing performance with this trailer. If you want to protect your investment by housing your trailer in your garage, we have an entire playlist dedicated to pop top and tilt top trailers right here on the left hand side of the screen. And as usual, stay safe out there on the road and we'll see you in the next episode.